Hello everybody, welcome back to the Footy Hill Lowdown and in this video I'm going to be talking a bit about my predictions and hopes for uh, the Primarchs that are going to be returning in 2018. Um, so I've seen uh, things on Facebook and stuff uh, saying that uh, Warhammer TV uh, confirmed that two Primarchs will be returning in 2018 and the first one uh, doesn't yet have a model. Um, so that narrows it down quite a lot for which Primarch can return. So the ones who don't have models in Forge World or uh, like 40k yet are uh, Rogel Dawn, Lionel Johnson, uh, Jakati Khan, um, and Altharius Omegan, and then obviously the two unknown ones. Um, so out of those guys that don't have models, um, I would I think everyone is sort of thinking that Lionel Johnson is the most likely because uh, he is pro almost definitely not dead um, he's asleep in a cave uh, on his home planet uh, because he was defeated by someone I, I don't know the exact reasons for why he's asleep in a cave um, but obviously he's not dead um, so that's that's a big reason for me why uh, Lionel Johnson is most likely to come back. And also just because he is the Primarch of such a, a, a big legion, the first legion and the Dark Angels. Um, I think it would be, especially with all the, the stuff around Dark Angels being chaos and stuff, um, it would be cool to have Lionel Johnson come in and make the Dark Angels uh, a really big uh, like force for the Imperium again. Uh, so the other guys who it could be, uh, the next one is Jakati Khan, and um, I'm fairly sure that Jakati Khan won't be coming back, um, because like he, he's in the webway, um, obviously the webway for anyone apart from uh, Eldar is very difficult to navigate, um, So and also I don't see many people playing White Scars. Um, they're just not really a, a legion that I see being played that often, um, and so, like, um, I I don't know. I'd like I'd love to see your opinions on what is gonna go on in 2018. But I just for some whatever reason I don't see Jakati Khan being brought back uh, anytime soon. And then the last loyalist one who uh, could come back, a uh, loyalist I say, as I say that Lionel Johnson is the most likely. Um, but the last loyalist Primarch, uh, he could be coming back, judging by the, the rumour um, by Bohemia TV, I don't know if it's a rumour, I haven't seen it confirmed, um, is Rogel Dawn. And I would love to see uh, Rogel Dawn coming back, but he, out of all of the uh, the loyalist Primarchs who don't have models, um, he, who aren't confirmed to be dead, I think he's the most likely to be dead. Um, because they found his power fist. Um, so after a, a big, after doing a Black Crusade. Um, so I think that Rogel Dawn, although they haven't written him uh, specifically to be dead, I think he's definitely the most likely one to be dead. Um, and so I think at this point, uh, they're not going to be bringing back ones who are almost certainly dead. Like they brought back. Uh, Gulliman, but he was alive just in stasis, so they just needed to wait until they could bring him out of stasis alive. Um, so then the the non-loyalist ones who don't have models, uh, what did I say? Yeah, so Alpharius, which I think is extremely unlikely because obviously the Alpha Legion is so secretive. I think making a model of the Primarch would sort of it would I think it would I wouldn't be a fan of what they would do with the law if Altharius came back and actually like had to pick a side and showed whether they were uh, traitor or loyalist. So I, I think it would be law wise not great uh, if they brought back Altharius but I would love to see a model of Altharius in what we can do these days with uh, plastics. Um, and then the other two like so I think the most interesting uh, candidates are the two uh, unknown Primarchs uh, that have been deleted from Imperial Records. Um, so I'm not sure if there's actually any lore about who they are, 
Um, I'm sure someone in the comments will be able to enlighten us. But I think it would be really cool to the law if they were to if they were to show like a Primark returning from like not even returning like a Primark we've never seen before and there's nothing about. I think it'd be really cool to have him coming into the law um, and spicing it up a bit. Maybe uh, not being chaos or imperial um, like being a lone wolf with the legion or if they even got a legion and um, I think that would be quite cool law wise but I don't think they're gonna do that because they've got so much potential already in the characters that they've got with the, the living Primarchs um, so that is the reason why I think that if the, uh, the, the thing about Warhammer TV saying that the first one is going to be one who doesn't have a model is true. I think that's why it's most likely about Lionel, Lionel Johnson. Um, now, they definitely have said there's going to be two Primarchs in 2018. And if the first one is Lionel Johnson, then I think that, along with quite a lot of people, I think that the next one to come back uh, will probably be Fulgrim as a Demon Prince. And I would love to see a, a Fulgrim Demon Prince. I think it'd be so cool. Um, because obviously we've already got uh, a Nurgle uh, Demon Prince and a Zinch Demon Prince, so we need a Slanesh or a uh, a Corn Demon Prince. Um, do Corn even? I don't. Do Corn have any of the Primarchs? I, I can't, honestly don't know. Um, someone is probably annoyed at me right now for not knowing this. But yeah, so Fulgrim. Um, obviously, I think it would be really good to bring back because. Slanesh has been a bit neglected recently. Um, they haven't had any new releases for ages. Um, just I see Slanesh players in the community being quite annoyed at their sort of being ignored, and I think bringing a Fulgrim back into the fold would be a big, big thing. Um, also, a pink Demon Prince. That would just be awesome. Um, so, yeah, I think currently he's hidden on a, a, a pleasure planet somewhere. So, I think bringing back the uh, Slanesh in a, a big way would be awesome for the uh, the, the law. Um, the other uh, uh, traitor Primarch who I would like to see them bring back, but I, I don't really know, is uh, Perturabo, because obviously he's like um, such a but Perturabo. I, I sort of think of him as the the epitome of a chaos uh, Primarch because he's. His entire thing is violence and like merciless killing, um, so that's why I'd love to see Perturabo uh, going back as a demon prince at 40k. Just but and like, I don't really know what what it is about him, but I love his character as a chaos lord or chaos uh, demon prince. Um, so that um that is my predictions for the Primarchs that could come back in uh, 2018. I'd love to see what you have to think about it. Um, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.